What's up pilots, Pilot83 here with another review of the airport that was released yesterday. This is El Dorado International Airport, airport code Sierra Kilo Bravo Oscar by V Pilot Designs. All right, so this is rated five point or five stars right now out of five, out of seven reviews. So high detail 3D models, terminal control tower, cargo terminal, has a bunch of planes out there, uh, car parking, engine test area, aero civil, all kinds of stuff going on. It says frame rate friendly, we will check all that out. But uh, yeah, so from the pictures guys, it, it looks really good. I know this is a pretty big airport, it just released, I am very curious if it's working without a hitch, I hope that it does but we will find out in just a moment as we go out there so i will see y'all at el dorado airport in just a minute thanks guys all right here we are runaway looks really good let's go ahead and just take a little look see around I don't believe you can go in any building of this airport besides, I think, the aircraft control tower. Aircraft control tower, ATC. So let's see what all we see. Looks like a good bit of planes for sure. Ooh, got a little bit of lag there. Got some hangers right there, some hangers up here. We're testing this in real time. So far, so good. I know it's a little bit of lag. They've redone all these buildings. Here's the ATC tower, which looks really good. I mean, look at this. This is freaking art right here. Architecture. Radar spinning on top. People in here. Some people moving. That's the boss man. Alright, we got down here DC six. No, not DC six. Similar though. Police. Looks like, what is this? Air vac? Yeah, some type of ambulance. Huh, very neat. Oh, that's cool. Very cool. Helicopter area over here. Is there any? Yep, there's one helicopter at least right there. Looks like another 
Air back. Hmm, it's like some. Oh, we got some military. Look at this. Okay, very nice. I do like how the flags are moving. It looks really good. Definitely looks good. I have everything turned off right now. Uh, feel it kind of feels like it's on the edge of crashing. This I believe is going to need a update for Xbox. It does not feel stable to me at the moment. Feels like I need to be careful of what I'm doing. Neat. Let's see once we get back over here to the real busy area. I mean, gorgeous though. They've done such a great job. I mean, wow. This place has a lot going on. Fire trucks, yep. So many planes. So, it's very detailed. See that lag right there? They redid all the roads coming in here, so look at these roads. Radar tower spinning, look, see, if the whole sim had roads like this with the cars, then that add-on for uh, the cars by LVFR would not be bad. Looking good, looking good. Looking outstanding. As I predicted, guys, it crashed. So here we go for the second time. Man, it just kind of crashed out of nowhere. Sad. It's, like I said, I could kind of sense that it was going to need an, an update. I mean, the airport is absolutely gorgeous. I just don't think it's Xbox code compatible fully yet. Kind of like Chicago Midway, which is definitely by far my favorite airport add-on. It wouldn't work at all. As soon as I got that update, now it's amazing. As smooth as can be. And man, it's amazing. Absolutely amazing. If y'all do not have Chicago Midway, you need to get that. The airport will blow your mind. From the inside to all the details to the planes being pushed back. Just wow. So over here, we're at the cargo planes. Y'all saw FedEx, UPS. Still moving on through here. Looks like we got some generic planes over here. Some uh, looks like motels, some other planes. There's so many different types of planes out here that they've added. Great job. Just sad that it crashed. It just it just kind of shows that it's not fully optimized yet for Xbox users. Keep on moving. This Air Force is just absolutely huge. It just goes on and on and on. Look out here. ATRs. These chain link fences uh, at this airport look really good. 
I mean, the buildings, they look amazing. I mean, just look at them. Just so much architecture going on. Another plane back here. In there, that's the Viva A320. See, these roads are awesome that they redid. I wish all the roads in the sim were done that well. We're obviously a long way away from that, but look at that. those 18 wheelers things loading good y'all know they re uh supposedly there's an update for heathrow it's still not fixed i didn't see the uh, actual update actually come through was it some 380s literally just planes everywhere Super cool, guys. Super cool. Motel. Holiday Inn. Well, maybe not. Hmm. Like where a lot of cargo comes in and takes off. Stairways over there, neat. Some good looking planes. Got SAS A320s. A little lag there. Can't go in this. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. At the Chicago Midway it has, which that's on sale right now, it has actual planes being pushed back and stuff and tugged, which is super neat. And guys, sadly, it crashed again. So those two crashes with everything turned off. So now we're going to take a look at it in the dark. And, I mean, it looks great in the dark. I mean, this is a really nice airport. It's just, it's, just, it's going to need an update. I, I can't, I'm not going to tell y'all that I approve of this airport yet, even though it is absolutely amazing. And wow, look at the freaking runway lighting. That is some of the best I've ever seen in the sim. So vibrant and well lit. Wow, just there's a lot of attention to detail here that I absolutely, you know, I enjoy. I love the small details, and it looks it looks amazing. It's it's just it, it's going to need an update, y'all. It's just if you have it and you're not having any issues, let me know. But right now, I have everything turned off to give it the best chance possible, and I've already had two crashes, and I feel like I got to take it real slow because it's going to crash again on Xbox. So. I'm definitely going to have to write them and let them know that there's going to need to be an update for this on the Xbox side. Which is a shame because, man, like, you just made a place that, to me, I've never been to, El Dorado, uh, which is in uh, uh, Columbia, I believe, uh, a spot where I want to fly airliners. Like, I want to take the Concord out here to land. It's, it's just sad that it's crashing. Maybe it would be okay if you're coming in. I, I can't imagine coming out here with any type of error. 
uh, any type of live traffic, I can't imagine it not crashing on you. But uh, yeah, I mean, it looks amazing. It really does. The, de the attention to detail is outstanding. Look at the lights down there flashing. I mean, they've really gone through every detail of this place. It just needs to be re-looked at for Xbox. But yeah, guys, uh, for now, I would say wait. Sadly, I mean, I've had two crashes, some lag, and I'm having to take it real slow because I feel like it's going to crash again. But I do think it is a great add-on. It's just not ready yet. I think with one good update to make it compatible for Xbox, it will be a must-have. Just like Chicago Midway, when I said it wasn't ready yet. And then as soon, soon as it got that update, man, it is my favorite by far. It just really shows what Xbox can handle. But uh, yeah, guys, I, I would wait for now. If you're on Xbox, it is outstanding. It is amazing. It's definitely one of the best airports you can get. But yeah, wait for now, guys. Hold on to your money until an update. But as always, y'all, I am Pilot83. Thank you so much for your continued support. Join my Discord in the description below. I also have an Instagram now. Join that as well. Also, check out my good buddy, Easy Not So Easy 48 where he posts some of the most best pictures you can see of the sim on his Instagram, also in the description below. Till next time guys, happy flying. Fly together, stand together. Peace. If you made it this far, thank you so much. If you like this video and you feel like I earned your subscription, please hit that subscribe button and that like button so you don't miss out. Until next time guys, see you in the air.